this upon myself. I brought it upon myself, didn't I? I just did a video yesterday about these two. And now I'm right back to doing trailer reactions. Good grief. I do it to myself, I swear. What's up? Jack Small of Animation Station here back into y'all with another video. And yep, time to get back into Sonic again because we got the teaser gameplay for Sonic Frontiers. And tomorrow it's said we're going to be getting the full trailer. Because that's Summer's Game Fest. I'm going to try and do a full reaction to that one, but I'm not sure my phone will let me. So if... All that goes wrong, I will just record myself reacting to the trailer itself. Anyway, I'm done yapping. We have a lot to talk about. So, let's get into the Sonic Frontiers trailer. First of all, right off the bat, that's the official logo, I believe. That looks dope. That looks sick. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Gotta go fast. Oh, that, that music is beautiful. Whoa! Dude, this looks beautiful. Different combat? What? Hold on. Holy. Whoa. Dude. Dang. Oh, holy. That was amazing, dude. We, we gotta look at that again. I haven't done this in a while. Let's analyze. Okay, so of course we got the Sega logo. First of all, the OST already sounds beautiful, very elegant, very soft. And then it starts with a piece from the reveal trailer from the Game Awards. And then we get to the gameplay. This looks beautiful, man. These Starfield Islands, I believe they're called. This looks beautiful. Like, all the flowers and the way that the grass moves as Sonic runs across it. That is amazing. That is beautiful. Sonic's going straight up open world, and it's about time. And then... They said this is directly inspired by Breath of the Wild, so I think this is supposed to be the Sheikah slate of the game, where you run in this loop after you beat, like, a mini-boss or something, and then it'll open up that part of the world for you on the map, where you can fast travel and all that. That's that's a really cool way to do it. See, because as soon as you do that, it... That is cool. Now this new combo... You run the circle, you catch them in a ring that throws them up. That's cool. People have been saying that that ring attack... Actually, I want to go back to it real quick. Go back to the ring attack real quick. Try and get a... People said that capturing them in these rings reminds people a lot of knights. And I can definitely see why. But that is a really cool thing. And it's awesome that they're giving us more than just a homing attack this time. They're really taking their time with it. And with Ian Flynn writing the story, I could say, safely, we are in pretty dang good hands. That looks amazing, dude. 
I love the enemy variety. This is probably like the guardian of the game. Super powered spin dash and then backflip. <laughs> That's cool. I know Star. Okay, he does have his real grinds. And he does have his. Okay, he does still have that boost from the other games, but it's only in there to an extent. So you probably can't abuse it as much. So, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And then we have our first look at one of the new foes here. You have to destroy the thing on the top of your head. Reminds me of Iblis. Is that just me? Or does that remind you of Iblis? When you have to attack the thing on the top of his head. Now, we still have no explanation for what the heck this even means. Some people say it says zap, and some people say it says up. And I can see it in both ways, because the Z is this, which curves up into the A, and then the big thing on the right is the P. And then people also say it looks like it's saying up, because it can also go like this, like that. So, I don't know if it says zap, or I don't know if it says up. I don't even know what it's supposed to represent. All I know is that it looks really cool. We'll probably get an explanation when we get closer to the game's release. And, there we go. And that's also the official logo, I assume. Again, the logo looks sick. I love it. They made the O look like the portal thing, and then they gave that boost aura from the reveal trailer going all the way through it, and the way they like segmented off the different parts of each letter. It looks high-tech, it looks be really dang cool. And let me see, it says PS5, PS4, Series X and S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So it's going to be on everything. It's going to be on everything, and I think they already said it's going to be full price. It's going to be $60. And I think after they do this actual big gameplay reveal um, tomorrow at Games Fest, um, we'll probably start seeing the prices and the deluxe editions and all that, all that good junk. So... Um, from what I heard, this is going to be full price $60, so I'm going to try to save up the money for that. But, that's it. That's it for this video. Pretty short, sweet, and to the point, because it's only a few seconds long. Now, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let the Frontiers hype begin, man. Not only that, according to what I've been hearing around the Sonic fan base, we're going to be getting the full Prime trailer soon as well. So, stay tuned for more reactions on this channel. Stay tuned tomorrow for at least my reaction to the official gameplay trailer. So, yep, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Jackson, welcome to your station. See you guys next time. Peace.